All right, now that school's finally up and I finished all my classes in pretty insane fashion as well, it's time to stop the machine content and get into something I wanted to talk about for a pretty long time. Improvement. Obviously, it's isn't easy, especially when you're completely misguided. But here I am, guiding you guys, as well as the old plat me who struggled to get diamond and just played on my own terms. Without further ado, here we go. Yeah! As mentioned just now, playing on your own terms, when your weapon is made for other things. Listen, I like clipping and hitting insane plays just as much as the next guy, but sometimes old you, or current you, having to choose absolutely bland gameplay. It's not your fault, it's just, it's just what you chose. We all saw the kind of clip though, and I'm not gonna lie, it can still work. Kinda! Kinda! The point is though, it's really hard to go for super risky engagements when your weapon just isn't made for certain spots on the stage. For example, if you're in disadvantage with gauntlets, try to avoid taking up stage with aerials. You lose pretty much every time. If you're off stage with lance, try to recover as quickly as possible. You're not gonna have fun down there. It's a general tip for those who just play like their weapon has every advantage checked out. If you bite off more than you can chew, you're in for a lot of frustrating matches. Speaking of recovering and disadvantage, we have using your recovery first instead of last. I didn't really understand this tip until much later down the road, when I finally went pro. Back then, the world would tell us to leave our recovery for last, as we can have it as a last resource for when we get hit. Recently, we've been so developed on our skills for recovering to stage that we decided to completely reverse the procedure for getting back to stage. But they're right. Using recoveries last regularly gets you punished nowadays, so how do we get past it? Well. Using a recovery first on knockaway is usually the way to go about things. If you have multiple ways to delay before touching the wall, and contesting someone who wants to secure the KO with an exhaustive recovery. Punishing is not about the moves. When I was improving, I found myself in 2400 and just moving more than I was supposed to, and attacking way less than I was supposed to, which made my gameplay very sloppy. But the reason behind it was because I didn't take the initiative to consider attacking first, because I didn't know that everything in this game was punishable. Some, obviously, of course, harder than others. But overall, the truth holds the same. It's less about the moves, but the movement that's completely punishable. If they move around, tracking it and benchmarking their commitments end up being much, much healthier. Plus, since you're more accurate, you'll feel more comfortable, and it all just gets better from there. Now last, to climb, you must diagnose and solve. Every player in ranked has their own separate play styles, including their on-hit, defensive reactions, etc. To climb up the ranks, you'll have to be able to acknowledge what stands out to you when you fight against the opponent. And in every rank of the video game, your job is essentially to do pretty much that, just adapting to every playstyle that you come across. It'll come naturally, and it's the building block of what allowed me to get where I am now. 